Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today what I'm going to show you is how I make my pork with rice and vegetable broth. So let's get started. So in my pot I have my pork and it's from Zacon. I have two pounds, which is 32 ounces of vegetable broth, one white onion that I diced up, and six small sweet peppers. I have my crock pot on high and I'll put my lid on and wait for my pork to get done. So what I did is I just put in a little bit of Wonder Flour to help thicken the broth. So just enough to make it thick. And then I put in about a teaspoon of this kitchen bouquet. It's a browning and seasoning sauce for the gravy. Now I took the pork out of the gravy before I thickened it and what I'll do now is just kind of cut it up and place it back into the gravy. So I'm just cutting it into pieces. So now I'll place this in the crock pot. Slide it in. And finish with the rest of the pork. And this is the Zacon pork. Now I'll place this in. the rest of the pork. That was all of it. Now I'll take a spoon, mix it in. Oh yeah. I'll add in a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, Mix it around. I'll give it a try. Mmm. That's really good. Now I made some rice and it was a serving for four. I cooked it according to the directions on the package. I'll place this cooked rice inside my crock pot. Mix it around. I also have one can of corn, 15 ounces. I drained it. I'll put the corn into the crock pot. Mix that around. I'll let the corn and rice absorb some of that 
sauce flavor. I'll give it a try. I got some of the pork, the rice, and the corn. Mm. That's good. So I'll put the lid back on and in a few minutes I'll be serving it. I let my rice and corn sit in the sauce for about 15 minutes. Oh yeah, that looks real good. I'll put a little in a bowl. Doesn't that look good? I'll place this off to the side. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. So now I'll mix the salt and pepper around. Oh yeah. I have the rice, the corn, the pork, red pepper. I'll give it a bite. Mm. The pork is so tender. Deserves a second bite. Mm -mm -mm. This is really, really good. If you'd like, you can add other vegetables in here. I like the rice in here, but if you like, instead of rice, you can add potatoes, you can add peas, broccoli, and make it like a soup or a stew. But this is another way that I cook my pork. You can hear my dog in the background. He's crying for some. Really good. Mm-mm-mm. Kitchen smells good, too. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.